The things you say to your spouse matters. Even as a Christian brother or sister, you are expected to, to say nice words that edify to somebody else. How much more your family, your husband, your, your wife, your second half or better half. But you will find the husband and wife using every kind of hard, harsh, and brutal words on the partners. They curse, they insult, they abuse. Now, you know, curse is different from abuse. <laughs> because when we say actually repeating the words, they, they have different implications. You curse the person, useless, good for nothing. You will never amount to anything. Is it because I married you? You will be abused first. You, are, you don't even have to do anything. Look how there are different meanings when you curse and you abuse the person. You invoke hardship on the person and you forget that you live with the person that two of you are one. And then tomorrow, when the things you have invoked begin to play out, you will suffer it with the person. But the point is, when you are suffering with the person, you don't realize you caused it. You are the master, uh, master at or architect that designed the whole hardship. So many people have used their hands to break down instead of building. The Bible says in the book of the a wise woman builds a house and that one tears it down. So most times you tear it down with your mouth. You tear the house down with your mouth. You just say, oh, man, ah, my husband. You just say, like another man now, you don't trust them all. The man you're talking about is right there. <laughs> don't trust them. That's how men are. They are good for nothing. They are this. You're wondering, your husband is right here. You don't think how he feels about it. Now, some of them think they're making jokes. There are some jokes you don't play with your husband or your wife, especially in public. It's not every joke you go and joke with your husband. They're joking, you go and feel my joke. Your husband is right. You're insulting him publicly. You know that woman, the Bible says your husband will proud of you by the gate. And the one that he is ashamed of you because you don't even realize what you're doing. You go to the king's palace and tear his garment there. And you think you're being smart or wise. So, foolish things and foolish actions and not telling your tongue can cause destruction in marriage.